Hello, what's up and what's happening ladies and gentlemen. Today we got a game versus the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Indiana Hoosiers. We had one heck of a game versus Michigan. It came down to overtime. We won 58 to 55 and that got, got us on the cover. Now back in the day, there was a Sports Illustrated curse, whether you believe it or not. I mean, there was one, there wasn't one, I don't know. But this ever so often, you was on the cover and bad things seemed to happen. So we got this receiver. Ellis Jones, he's looking to come to town. We're going to schedule him for the Penn State game. We actually, all of our recruits are ready to come to town. That's what happens when you beat Michigan at the big house and everybody and their mama is watching. You feel me? You feel me? That's halfback. I don't know how I really feel about him because LSU and Texas are still creeping around. So I don't know if him, you know, visiting us right now is a good look. But he's going to come to town today. So is Bo Garcia. He's from Texas as well. So two guys from Texas visiting us today. Hopefully that has some influence. I don't think it does, but hopefully it might work out in our favor. Minnesota has one win. They're one and five, 0 and four in Big Ten play. But that running back, Frank, up to 817 yards rushing. And Michigan always, see, not Michigan, excuse me, the other M state, Minnesota, always seems to have good running backs. And again, teams that run the football can give us some fits. So we need some help because we're chasing Ohio State. Ohio State right now is projected to win the Big Ten. There's no Big Ten title, and we do not play Ohio State this season. So I need some help. And Frank going to kick this thing off by receiving an opening kickoff and getting to the 25-yard line. Now he's in the backfield, receives the handoff from Williams. He's bottled up. They refuse to give us an animation, and Frank is going to take this thing to the house. Touchdown, Minnesota, and just like that, we could be in some serious trouble. So it is seven to not a darn thing just like that. We got Smith. He's back there. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but the wind is going heavily in Minnesota's direction. Or in their favor, I should say. So the wind is whipping around 25 to 30 miles per hour. So that could be a problem later on in the ball game. We're going to have the wind going in our direction in the second and fourth quarter, respectfully. So be on the lookout for what happens with the wind. Anyways, third down and two. Looking downfield is Johnson. Throwing it over the middle. That pass caught by Ryan. Move these chains. First down, Indiana. The Hoosiers, we came to play. We know that we're the favorites as we fumble the football. So we definitely do not want to get hit upside the head like David then did Goliath. We want to win. We want to stomp that little cockroach out. Now Johnson looking downfield, and that pass going to be intercepted by Simpson. And Simpson is racing down the field, crosses the 30. Ryan is able to hit him in the ankles, and that is going to bring the play to an end. Minnesota has the football inside our territory just like that. So at the Indiana 27-yard line, Frank Weaver through traffic yet again. It's all Frank today. All Frank all the time. They give it to him again, and Stewart is there to lay the smacketh down. Second down and 11. Right up the gut. Going to bully over battle. He's going to pick up a game of three, maybe four. From the 12-yard line, third down and seven. Fired to the end zone. Caught by Davis. And they put another touchdown up on the board. Boy, oh boy, could we be in some trouble here. Heartbreak. Hotel Upset City. Is that what is on the menu today? Gonna fire that thing to Walker. He makes the catch. Second down and two. Gonna run the ball with Ashton again. North and south and barely picks it up, but we pick it up nonetheless. So from the 32 yard line, Johnson fires it. It's tipped and then caught by Ashby. We might have got back to the line of scrimmage. In fact, we did lose one yard on the pass play. That's really not a good look. We got Walker working in the middle of the field. That's a dream. No safeties in the area. The linebackers are too shallow. You know you're going to make that catch as long as you show you got good hands like Allstate. And then Johnson does stuff like that. So every once in a while, he looks like a program saving quarterback. Other times, he looks like, you know, a freshman that. Does not belong here in the Big Ten. Anyways, Ashley, he makes the catch. A little bit shaken up. Hopefully it's not too serious because we need all horses on deck. There goes Smith getting north and south. Going to pick up a solid game. Second down in around three. Stokes coming through when I need him to. The big tight end rumbling inside the five. And we got ourselves a first and goal from the two-yard line. Going to run the ball with Smith. Smith gets bottled up. At around the three-yard line. Second down and goal. We're going to run the ball with Ashley, who's back in the ball game. And he has a nose for the end zone. Okay, he was born sniffing and not 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 that kind of end zone, but the touchdown. That's almost like touchdown. 
So Frank on the kick return, gets it up to the 35 yard line. They're gonna kick off their new drive right there. Gonna give it to the big fullback, give it to the biggest shoulder pads on the offensive side of the ball. And that's exactly what they do. Then Frank trying to turn the corner, gets dropped. And that's gonna bring the first quarter to an end. We're down by seven. So third down and one from the 44 yard line. They give the ball to Frank trying to take it north and south. And he does just that. Look at the young man rumble. Now Frank getting busy again. Gets tripped up. After he broke the initial tackle, picks up a game of three, but were able to corral him. Now they throw it to White, rumbling up the field. Frazier is there to bring him down by the horse collar, but that ain't no penalty in this game. First down and 10, Frank trying to get busy. He will, still on his feet, pushes forward, and Swoops is there to drag him down. Second down and two to give it to Frank yet again. Again, just grounding and pounding, and Swoops is there to lay the lumber. Shed the block, square your shoulders, and drive through the man like a hammer through a nail. Now they're going to run the ball right there. Frank getting upfield, and Frank is turning into a nightmare. We cannot stop him. Every time that we get him on the ground, he seems to get back up and gain another yard or two. He picks up maybe one right there. Third down and one. They're going to run the ball on my defense on third down. Why not? It's a good look. It's a recipe for success. Now from the eight-yard line, they run the ball again and swoops. Gets his fourth tackle. Seems like all four was on this drive right here. Now Frank trying to turn the corner. We are there, but we get ran smooth over. And if we can't stop the ground game, already down by 14, it, it, it is not looking very, very good for us. But we still got time to turn things away. Turn things around. Not a well. What am I talking about? Ryan is open. That's what I need to be talking about. And Ryan makes the catch and gets dropped at the 44-yard line. We have got to put seven up on this drive. Three may suffice, but we were really like seven. We running the ball with Ash. Turns the corner. Runs a man over, too, because he got some power. He's built like that. Second down and nine. Johnson going to roll out. Looking downfield for Walker. That's a tough catch as he gets pummeled as the football gets there. So third down and nine, going over the middle, caught by Ashley yet again. Another big time catch move, though change. Won't give it to Corey Ashley one more time. Crosses the 30, crosses the 25, takes a huge hit, but hangs on to the football and has a first down in his back pocket. Looking downfield for Edwards, who does not make the catch. The ball hit him right in the muffins. In the mittens, I mean. Not the muffins, but the mittens. Now we're going to run the ball. Ashley inside the five. Can he get into the end zone? They're going to rule him out at the one-yard line. First thing, go give it to the fullback in our left guard. Just got bench pressed in the backfield. Second down and goal from the four-yard line. We're going to go to the air. Quick pass to Ryan. Falls incomplete. So third down and goal from the four. Johnson looking, still looking, still looking. Going to throw this one away, and that's going to bring the drive to an end. Bring on the field goal team. Hopefully the kick is good, and it is, and we cut the lead down to 11. So defense, please do not give up any more points this half, please. They get the ball to Frank. Frank getting loose. Frank takes a huge hit from Jones, and we recover it because the football got jarred out of there. Houston jumps on top of it, and this defense then answered the call yet again, rolling out. Throwing this one to Ashley, who can't make the catch. Second down and 10. Johnson looking downfield, still looking. Let's it fly to Ryan, but it's going to be broken up. And now we're looking at third down and 10 from the 35. Johnson rolling out, throws it, and that pass broken up. So we don't gain a yard. We're at the 35 in normal conditions. This is not field goal range. We're with 30 mile per hour wins going your direction. Oh, that's a win. And that's a good field goal. And we are up 21 to 13. 45 seconds ago in the first half. They're gonna run the ball with Frank. Able to squeeze through traffic. Picks up a gain of eight. 15 seconds to work with. They're gonna run the ball again. They pick up a first down and now they're gonna call a timeout. So that's kind of a weird, a weird series of events right there. Williams gonna roll out. He's gonna fire to the left side, and that pass will hit their man right in the head. So let's see what they can do. Second down and ten. Williams dropping way back. Williams. Looking, Williams, going absolutely nowhere. We get the sack. That's a big time play. Let's head to that second half up or down by eight is what I should say. Now Smith, he's going to cut up towards the middle of the field. Gets knocked in his head. Now Johnson hands the ball off to Ashley. Breaks a man's ankles in the back, but that's a good look because it would have been second and around 14 instead of second down and nine. So Johnson rolling out, looking, walked his way, and again, Minnesota's defense is proving to be quite tough today. 
Johnson gonna roll out one more time. Looking for Edwards, who makes the catch. There's around five golden gophers around him, but it did not matter. That pass was beautiful. You know it was. There goes Ashley. Getting upfield, he's gonna get dropped by the shoelace at around the 34-yard line. Ashley gets the carry again. To the 30, he runs, breaks a tackle, then breaks a man's ankles up to the 15 where he gets put on his back. But that's a good look and a good first down. Under some pressure, we break a tackle in the backfield, but that's going to segue into a sack. Now both tackles are on the ground. The pass rush eating up. Dawson in there for the sack. Third down and 22. Johnson looking, looking, still looking, still looking. Nobody's open. We just have to throw the ball away. We had all time, but nobody was able to to get free in the secondary. Now we're gonna settle for the field goal and that win worked against us this time. It was too short for a punt. But third, fourth and 22, like you gotta probably kick the field goal, give the kicker a try, that's what I did. And we came up around three to four feet shy. There goes McNamara Lane, the lumber, his fourth tackle of the ball game. Third down and three, they give it to the big fullback. The blocking was decent. The fumble though, but they recover it. So the fullback, Got them the first down, technically. They give it to him again just so he can pack this holding on to the ball, and he loses a game of one. Now they're going to run the ball with Frank. Frank trying to turn the corner, and McNamara is there to lay him down. Third down and nine. Williams dropping back, lets it fly, and he's going to overthrow his man. His man was open, but nonetheless, it's an incompletion. We get the ball right back. One guy misses Corey Ashley. Another guy misses Corey Ashley down the sideline. Cross the 50. A third guy misses him as well. 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown. That is an 84-yard TD, excuse me, 82. 82-yard TD run by the homeboy, Corey Ashley. Heisman favorite as of right now. If we can creep up these poles, he's going to win that thing, if you ask me, man. I'm so proud of him. I'm so glad he transferred to, I believe he was at Ohio State. I want to say he transferred. I'm, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look back through my videos when he transferred. I want to say he came from Ohio State. I could be wrong. I'm going to look through my videos, and, and I'm going to get you that answer. Don't take my word for it today, but a next video or video or two from now, we're going to know where, where school he transferred. Anyways, let's get back to the action. Frank trying to turn the corner. Jenkins is there. This D-line is absolutely phenomenal. Now they're going to throw this one to the flat. Caldwell makes the catch in the tailback. The backup tailback putting in the work for Minnesota as they pick up another first down. Right up there, got McNamara laying the lumber. Free safety ain't missing too many tackles today. There goes Frank who breaks one tackle. Up the field and Houston drops him at the one at the 41-yard line. Frank up the gut again. McNamara is there to, to bring him down. Yo. Safeties love to tackle. Some safeties love to tackle. But my goodness gracious, linebackers, de defensive line, I was singing your praises. Let's get it together, baby. Let's get it together. Third down and two. Goal line formation for everybody. Frank is loose, and we could not wrap him up. 10-5 touchdown, and Minnesota increases the lead right before the third quarter. So we're down 28-19. So we're down by nine, and boy, we're not feeling that fine, but we have a chance for an epic comeback or an absolutely worse opportunity. We have two recruits that are here from Texas. We're trying to impress them as Ryan can't make the catch. We're trying, excuse me, we're trying to climb the top 25 poles, and if we lose this game, we're probably going to be outside of the top 25 yet again. So we got to ride Ashley, and he's going to make the play of the day so far. Big chunk play, and now we're up to the 43-yard line. I'm going to throw this thing to Walker, makes the catch inbounds. Gains around just three. So let's go right back to the air. Why not? Looking downfield, throwing this one to Ryan. And again, he forgot his hands on the bus. Go get him. Third down and seven, direct snap. We are in a situation where we will go for it. So why not run the ball and we pick up the whole enchilada on third down from the 44 in Minnesota territory. Looking for Ryan again because I trust you. Let's go. He makes the catch. And now we're deep inside the 20 from the 13-yard line. Look at the lane. Look at the blocking. Ryan blocked two guys on that play. Three rushing touchdowns for the Heisman favorite so far. Frank to the left side. He gets dropped by Houston. And if we can't stop their ground game, it does not matter what our offense does from here on out. Frank turns the corner, gets beasted on in the backfield. Second down and 11. They get the ball to Frank again. Again, beasted on in the backfield. Defense, I'm loving it. Chad Lewis jumping for joy because he made the play of the day so far in the defense. And then we're going to beat that thing into the ground. Let's go. Ashley back there to receive the punt. Crosses the 40. Crosses the 50 and gets pushed out of bounds. Barely. 
So a big time pump return. We have it inside that territory. Now we're going backwards. I got some quick penetration. And we are minus three yards. We're going to throw that thing downfield. And Edwards making the catch as he takes the hit. Johnson dropping back. Looking for Edwards one more time. And that pass will be broken up at the last second. Second down and ten. Johnson rolling out. Still rolling. Looking for the big tight end who can't make the catch. But if we lead him to the pylon, probably would have been an easier grab. Now Johnson under some pressure. And down we go. Definitely got to take the points right here. Obviously, it will give us the lead, so we're going to set up for a field goal. Kick us up, and it's just inside the upright. If we would have missed that field goal, my goodness gracious. So we're up by one, 29-28. Frank gets the carry, gets away from McNamara. Up the field, there goes Frank. Crosses the 45, crosses the 50, and chased down by Houston in Minnesota, in Indiana territory, excuse me. Now they throw the ball up, and that's caught. And now they're inside the 30. So they're inching closer and closer to the field goal range. Remember, the wind is going in the opposite direction. So probably got to get to the 20 to realistically try a field goal for their kicker. They're going to run the ball with Frank. And Frank, he gets shut down by Jones. So can we get off the field right here? Toss play. Frank trying to turn the corner. Not going to do it as McNamara is there to bring him down. But they dig it closer to the 20-yard line. So a 39-yard field goal is up. And I guess he probably would have hit it from 25 or 30 yard from the 25 or 30 yard line, which would make it around a 47-yard field goal. Anyways, man, first down and 10. Minute 28 on the clock. Gonna run the ball. There goes Corey. Up to the 40. Crosses the 45. The Mr. Ashley got us up to the 47. Looking pretty and smelling good. Johnson gonna roll out. Drops off to Ashley. Probably not the best decision right there. Don't want that clock to run anymore. Second down and 11. Looking for Walker who makes the catch. And he gets out of bounds. So third down and two now from the 45 yard line. We're gonna run the ball with Ashley trying to turn a corner. And he does and move those chains. Let's go. From the 39s. First down and 10. Johnson rolling out. Fires it. Caught by Edwards. Move those chains. Second down and nine. Ashley going to turn the corner one more time. And Ashley stays in bounds to keep the clock moving. We're in field goal range already. We call the timeout at two seconds. They have all three, but it does not matter because they ain't about to get the ball back. They either win with the miss or we win with a make. And we make it and we win. They lose. Thank goodness. If we would have lost this game, ladies and gentlemen, my heart would have just, like, just, just take it out of my chest. Why don't you? Because that's crazy, bro. That, that, that was a crazy, crazy finish. A one-point win versus a one-win team. And I don't know if this is going to help us in the polls. Hopefully some teams ahead of us lose. Because, again, I would love to get to a big uh, bowl game. Um... But Ohio State, like I said, like I said in the beginning, Ohio State, they are the number one team right now in the Big Ten. They're ranked number three overall. And yeah, it could be a little bit of a dogfight because we don't play them. We do not play them this season, which sucks, but hey, it is what it is. Anyways, though, man, our defense did enough to stop them. They were really one-dimensional, but that one dimension was pretty freaking fabulous. It was pretty freaking fabulous to say the least. But I'm going to get about here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love, hot sauce.